Well, the deadline has come and gone, as you mentioned. Uh, you know, we've been here for a little while. It's still dark, still early, so we haven't seen people out and about and talking yet, uh, walking about the, the property. But we do hear generators, or at least one generator, coming from one of the more than 20 RVs who are in, that are in this park. So it certainly appears that people are still here. Uh, they said they were going to stay here as well, and it doesn't sound like they are going anywhere or planning to. So the city has some decisions to make today. Now, the city's been looking into this for more than a decade now. A judge had ordered the people living in there to be out by yesterday. Some did leave, but others we spoke to said they have just no intention of going anywhere. So there was a court order, or it, order that was issued last week, and that instructed both the homeowner and all the residents living in this backyard compound to leave by yesterday. That was after inspectors found the property uninhabitable because of electrical problems. The owner recently spoke to Fox 11, and she was adamant that she was not leaving. Now, the city actually shut off the power to the property earlier in the week because the RVs were allegedly tapping into the electrical grid. And again, the issues with this property have been going on for quite some time now. There are city investigations dating all the way back to 2010. Then there have been more than 40 citations since 2016 when a lien was put on the property. But for some of the people who call the more than 20 RVs home, the idea of being kicked out, it just doesn't make sense to them. Listen here. I mean, we're trying to end homelessness and we're throwing people in the street. That answers everything. Now, neighbors in the Silmar community say the compound has been a nuisance for years, and they say it's also become a health hazard because of sewage problems. One neighbor told Fox 11 that she has a place she's willing to let some of these RVs park temporarily. No word yet on if anyone took her up on that offer or how long they might be able to stay. Uh, again, no one out and about yet. No one has been walking around, but we're hoping to talk to people as soon as they do wake up, get a count of how many people did stay, and then see what the city plans on doing. Uh, this is an ongoing story. We'll, of course, continue to follow it. For now, I'm reporting live at Silmar. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.